Hey guys, Max here from shopsolar.com. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about solar panels and specifically what we refer to as manageable solar panels. Now manageable, that's a bit of a subjective term, but for us, that means anything that's 200 watts or under. It's one of the bigger misconceptions in the industry, I think, is people don't really appreciate or understand just how big, heavy, and hard to move solar panels can get, especially when you get to 200 watts or above. And you'll see later in the video just how big a 200 watt panel already is. It's gonna give you some context there. But in this video specifically, we're gonna be talking about probably our favorite solar panels on the market, especially when it comes to the 200 watt and under, and that's the mega lineup of solar panels from Rich Solar. We've been designing and building systems with rich panels for years now, and we've always been blown away with their efficiency. And I think it's about time to kind of go into that a little bit more and show you them compared to a couple other panels on the market. Another thing to say is that I think potentially one of the reasons rich panels are so good is that they've actually been around since 2005. Uh, they're based in California as well. So they've just, they've had a long time to refine the process of their panels and it really is starting to show. In a later video, we'll get into the nitty gritty in terms of output and efficiency and get really into the weeds there, but those videos tend to be quite boring and only for people who are kind of nerds about this stuff. And there are videos like that on YouTube already. So this video, we're gonna focus on a bit more of the practical stuff, like maybe size, weight, um, use cases, where it's, where it's important to use panels like this, what comes with your order when you order a panel, kind of the things that if somebody's considering panels like this or a system that they're gonna wanna know. So let's hop over into the workshop and I'll show you a little bit more about the panels in there. So before we get into a bit more of a review on the rich solar panel specifically, I want to talk about something that we get from customers every single day. People say, why would I get, you know, four 100 watt panels or two 200 watt panels? Just give me a single 400 watt panel. Like that's got to be a heck of a lot better, right? And in some scenarios, a 400 watt panel or a single larger panel does make sense. And we'll get into that later. But what a lot of people don't appreciate and don't understand is check this out. So I'm six foot one. And this 200 watt panel right here, this is a 200 watt panel, it's almost as tall as me, okay? And that panel, I believe it weighs around 25 pounds. And for a 200 watt panel, you're gonna be in the vicinity of, you know, 22, maybe 28 to 30 pounds or so. And so now extrapolate that out to a 300 watt panel, a 400 watt panel, a 500 watt panel. These panels get absolutely massive and incredibly heavy. And so most people, especially if they're considering more of a portable system or they're building their system themselves, you're not gonna to want to go much higher than a 200 watt panel. That's why we call them manageable. You're still able to move that around. If you have a backup system in case of a hurricane or a blackout, and you're gonna be taking your panels out of the garage or the basement, doing much more than a 200 watt panel, like that's not really feasible for most people. And frankly, a lot of people, uh, a 100 watt panel is gonna be the way to go. Four 100 watt panels will output as much as a single 400 watt panel, but you will be able to move 400, four 100 watt panels where you can't with a single 400 watt panel. So these are just kind of the considerations that a lot of people don't appreciate really. And that's what I wanted to bring to your attention first here. One final thing to touch on before we get deeper into the review is, so on this side here, these are our rich panels, a 200 watt, a 100 watt, and a folding 200 watt suitcase. Really cool product, and we'll talk about that later. These are two other panels we had in the workshop here, and look at the size difference. So this panel is about six and a half inches taller than the rich panel, and about two pounds heavier, and this unit is about an inch and a half to two inches taller and a pound heavier than the rich panel. The rig panels actually produced more power than these ones right here. So bigger doesn't always mean better. Efficiency in these things are stuff to consider. And I mean, at Chop Solar, we do all this research, right? And we put the best products into our kit so that you know that you're getting it. It's just, it's something to consider here. Bigger doesn't always necessarily mean better. Okay, so for the first panel, we're gonna be looking at the mega 100 watt, 12 volt monocrystalline solar panel. It's got tempered glass on the front, an aluminum frame around the outside, and it's what we call a rigid solar panel. At Shop Solar, we include rigid panels in the vast majority of our kits. That's frankly just because over the years of testing, we found that rigid panels tend to last lot longer than their foldable counterparts. Now, there are some cases where a foldable panel or more lightweight panel makes sense, absolutely. Um, think of kind of mobile applications, vans, RVs, those kind of things. Sometimes weight really is your major consideration, but in terms of longevity, you really can't beat a rigid solar panel. With the tempered glass on the front and aluminum frame, it, it's kind of similar to almost like a car windshield, right? It's very hard to actually break a car windshield, and that's why these things tend to last a long time. 
It's also a monocrystalline panel. Now, I'm not going to get too into the weeds between monocrystalline and polycrystalline, but a monocrystalline solar panel, that tends to do better in low light conditions, which is why at Shop Solar, for example, all of our kits, we include monocrystalline solar panels as standard. I'm going to throw the specs of this panel onto the screen now. Uh, height, weight, width, depth, all that, so you can, you can take a look at that. But what I like about this is it's an extremely manageable panel. Really, I don't feel bad saying pretty much anybody would be able to use this, take it up from the basement, you know, put it onto a roof, bring it outside. This is a very, very manageable panel for just about anybody. Now, if we flip this over to the back, you're gonna see that there's two leads coming off of the little diode box at the top of the panel. These are three feet long, and they're clearly marked as positive and negative. We've got a white backdrop off of this, and you can see holes along the aluminum frame here. This is where you're able to attach it to surfaces, right? Like the top of your van, RV, roof shed, something along those lines. So this is more or less everything you need to know about the 100 watt solar panel. Let's take a look at the 200 watt now. Up next, we've got the mega 200 watt monocrystalline 12 volt solar panel. The first thing that should strike you is that it is quite a lot bigger than the 100 watt panel. Um, it's a little bit less than double the size though, so you get twice the output and not quite twice the size, which is nice. But it's very similar to the 100 watt panel, just bigger, right? It's a rigid panel, it's got tempered glass on the front, an aluminum frame around the outside. It's a monocrystalline panel again, we like that a lot more than a polycrystalline panel. And this is just a very serious, robust panel that is useful in a lot of different scenarios. So this is great for RVs, campers, schoolies, stuff like this, if you're gonna put it on the roof there. Um, it's really great in an uh, off-grid scenario as well, maybe a shed, a cabin, something along those lines. These are really popular in those kind of off-grid scenarios. So if we flip this over to the back, you can see it looks very similar to the 100 watt panel. It's a little bit dirty because we've been doing a lot of tests with it, so uh, it's been outside and used. But it's got the same leads up at the top. These are the same, three feet long. This is a perfect length for when you're going to connect multiple panels together in series or parallel. And then it's got the same indents here along the aluminum frame so that you can easily connect it to surfaces, roofs of, you know, shed, cabin, RV, van, those kind of things. So again, very standard similar robust panel that just works uh, and is useful in a bunch of different scenarios. So the last panel we're going to be looking at here is the mega 200 watt solar panel briefcase. This is also a 12 volt panel. It's also monocrystalline. It's got the tempered glass and aluminum frame around the outside. So it has the same benefits that the other panels have, but clearly just from looking at it, it is a little bit different. It has a much different form factor and that has some benefits, also some drawbacks. And let's touch on some of those now. The first thing to talk about probably matters the least, but I quite like it. It's just the overall design. It's an all blacked out panel here and black aluminum around the outside. It's got these cool orange bumpers on the corners of the unit, which is actually practical as well, because since it uh, stands up on itself, these bumpers act to protect your aluminum frame around the outside. So they're both cool and practical. Um, I just like how this looks compared to other panels. And a lot of, you know, I guess that doesn't actually really matter as much, but sometimes you want a panel that looks nice. This is is a bit more of a premium product and as such it comes with its own carrying case. This is a nice touch and this is a unit that's designed to be more portable for people right and so it comes with its own case which is awesome if you're bringing this to the beach or if you're bringing this uh, out to your cabin or something and you need to put it into the back of your car you have a protective case which is really nice it's a nice thoughtful touch on this. So when we flip this panel around we can see that the back of the unit is blacked out as well to continue with the same aesthetic. Now the first thing to talk about is actually the lead that comes off. This is significantly longer than it would be on a standard rigid panel. This is about five and a half feet. And the reason for that is when you want to connect multiple panels in parallel or series, because this panel goes widthwise instead of lengthwise, when you're leaning them side by side, you need more room on this cord in order to be able to connect them together. So the attention to detail, that's already been done on this. The last thing to talk about here is actually are these. This is like a, a, a kickstand essentially on the back of the panel, which is really, really unique and really cool about these products here. This will allow you to lean up the panel at an appropriate angle without anything else. So if you have a rigid panel, you know, unless you have um, a stand for that already or you've built one, you need to lean that up against a rock or a tree or a fence or something to get the appropriate angle. Where a suitcase like this, you flip out the legs and you're, you're just generating power at a perfect angle already. So it's a really nice attention to detail and why these panels are really, really popular.
So let's go through some of the use cases for these panels specifically. Now, the first thing to note is that all of these panels are better off used in an off-grid situation. These aren't the type of panels that you're going to be using you know, to put on the roof of your house and lower your electrical bill. That's actually where you want to start looking at a three, four, 500 watt panel. That's for the grid tie systems. Larger panels are going to be better there because you don't need to move them. You just set them on your roof and forget it. These are all better used in an off-grid situation, specifically something around portable, mobile, backup power, something like that, all these panels thrive in those situations. So when deciding which panels are gonna make the most sense for you, there's really kind of three things you need to consider. There's weight and dimensions, there's the application, and then there's cost. So if I'm thinking weight and dimensions, if you're somebody that can't lift much more than 15 pounds or that's very difficult for you, then you can't really even consider the 200 watt pounds. They're gonna be a little bit too heavy for you to move. For weight and dimensions, let's say you're putting it on the roof of an RV, you need to measure out your space. Maybe you have got a vent, maybe you've got an AC, and maybe you can only get a certain number of 200 watt panels, and then you gotta to switch to some 100 watt panels to maximize the roof space on your RV or your camp or your schoolie. It's also important to note, right, that two 100 watt panels, that's gonna create just as much power as a single 200 watt panel. Now for application, let's say you, you really want convenience, you're just gonna be going to the beach with your portable power station and your panel, then maybe a folding 200 watt panel is the way to go. It's got a little carrying case that's easy to throw into the back of your car and continue to go, right? This is the application, weight and dimensions, and then the last thing would just be cost. Maybe you're saving up and right now you've got, you've got enough money to buy a single 200 watt panel, cool. You can add another 200 watt panel down the line. But really those are the, th the three things to consider. The weight and dimensions, whether it's too heavy for you or it fits where you need it to be. Uh, the application, whether you wanna mount it permanently, then you're gonna want, again, these rigid panels, not the foldable ones, or whether portability or something is more of a consideration for you. And then just the overall cost and what actually fits into your budget. Now, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at shopsolar.com, hit the contact us button, and there's multiple ways to get a hold of us.